Hi everyone, I have another basic theorem for you from Abstract Algebra. This one says that if you take any group, the left and right hand cancellation laws hold. So what that means is that if I have A times B is A times C, B equals C, right? I can just cancel the A's on the left and vice versa. If I have B times A equals C times A, I can cancel the A's on the right and get B equals C. So how would you go about proving this? Well, it's not too bad. Let's just take this first equation here. I've got a times b equals a times c. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the a inverse on the left of both sides. Right? Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. And I have to make sure I'm doing it on the left on both sides. Right? It's not just like you're used to in algebra where everything's commutative. We don't know if everything's commutative in this case. So if I multiply by a inverse on the left, I have to do it on the left on both sides. But what happens here is I've got a times a inverse, and we know by definition, a a inverse is equal to e, the identity and the identity elements. And same thing on the left, right? So I've got the identity b is equal to the identity times c, and the identity element times an element is just the element itself. So we get that B equals C. In other words, this theorem holds true. And I could do it uh, exactly in the, in the reverse order, the exact same proof um, if I had that BA is equal to CA. I'll just take A inverse on the right this time, and we'll just get the identity on the right side, but you get the exact same result. So this is just a quick, nice, easy proof uh, that you can do and show all your friends that the left and right hand cancellation laws in a group hold. Hope you enjoyed this video. Rewind if you need to see it again and happy learning abstract algebra.